There are a couple of hidden metrics in LinkedIn advertising that you need to pay attention to when you're getting into more advanced advertising. And these are two metrics that business to business marketers generally don't focus on. It's more of a focus in consumer marketing and it's a very important aspect of advertising strategy. So not marketing strategy, but advertising strategy specifically. And that is the, the reach and the frequency. Two of the most important variables when we're thinking about more traditional advertising, which is what you need to get into uh, if you really want to scale up your LinkedIn ads. So uh, I want to talk about frequency. So this is the average number of impressions shown to each member account that received at least one impression. So when you're running ads, people are going to see it over and over. Um, by default, you tend to think of people just seeing it once and did they sign up or not? Did they direct respond or not? Which is the obsession of uh, business to business marketers. But again, when we're more advanced, we're getting out of that direct response mindset. Success does not always mean direct response, especially when we're dealing with upper funnel, uh, early mid stage marketing and nurturing in general too, because we're focused on consumption education, not responses and action. So um, the number of times they see it is important. So I, I was chatting with a, a colleague of mine who works in very advanced demand generation. He's looking at quantitative data all the time. And uh, one of the things he discovered was that this variable frequency was actually incredibly important. One of the strongest predictors of whether the, the LinkedIn ads performed well. And he found that the magic number was around six. So for his campaign, which I believe lasted a couple of months, uh, if somebody was exposed to their message six times, that was a strong predictor that they would uh, be become uh, what I believe is like a qualified lead or, or uh, acquire customer, something close to an acquired customer anyways. <clears throat> so the way that you pay attention to the frequency is you need to go in here under columns and go to delivery. And uh, something I, I've neglected to look at in the past, and I don't want you to do that. Look at the delivery, because what you may find is you identify your target customer group. And in this case, I think I started with 5,000, and then we expanded from there. Um, but you may be like, oh, well, I'm hitting 5,000 people. Uh, well, you're not. Maybe you're hitting uh, 400 people, and they're just seeing your ad 10 times per day, which um, they might actually get annoyed with seeing the same thing over and over. You need to monitor that frequency. Um, the other thing you need to pay attention to is the reach. So the reach is the actual number of people that are seeing the ad. So your target group, maybe 20,000, right? That's the the customer group that you're, you're targeting in LinkedIn, and that's great, targeting is excellent. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're logged into LinkedIn, they're actually seeing your ad, because a lot of people, uh, they only use LinkedIn like once a month or only when they're looking for a job and they're not super engaged the way they would be with something like Facebook or Twitter should have high daily engagement. So uh, the reach is important to pay attention to because this tells you who who you're actually targeting, not who you want to target, who you've set up to target, but who's actually seeing the content. Um, and that that may tell you why your your marketing is underperforming in terms of absolute numbers is just that the reach is too small frequency is too small. Uh, so in, in this case, uh, for example, what we had to do was because we we're dealing with a limited geography and adding other geographies only added about a thousand people to the target audience, which is only a fraction of that's going to be added to the reach. Uh, what we had to do was expand beyond the specific industries that we were targeting. So it was all these job titles, uh, but then took away the restriction in terms of industries uh, to go after a, a wider audience to, in order to be able to increase the reach and to reduce the frequency. Because the problem was the frequency was way too high. So what LinkedIn's gonna try to do is they're gonna set you up with <clears throat> the video views campaign and you're gonna set a daily budget. I recommend starting with daily budget. Don't start with campaign budget. And you're gonna put in something like $100. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna do everything in their power to maximize the number of views you get per day with that $100. Now, LinkedIn's tricky. You got to be careful with them. They're going to spend your money even in ways you don't want to. 
They're also by default going to expand your target audience. You don't want that either because you, you want to target who you want to target. Don't let, don't give LinkedIn control. <clears throat> so what's going to end up happening is you're going to be paying for views from people that already viewed your video. And that may not be what you want. Maybe it's what you want, but uh, I'm guessing it's not. Uh, so be careful. Uh, the good thing here is we were able to get the frequency down. Uh, frequency, uh, I believe, is around seven seven close to eight and um you don't necessarily need to expand your audience okay it may be uh, in your case maybe it's fine you just want to target this particular group maybe you're doing like account-based marketing with limited target there's only so many people that are, are qualified to even purchase your software uh, so in that case what you're going to do is you need to keep lowering the budget the daily budget for your video views campaign until the frequency becomes uh, around one or a little over one uh, because if it's if it's at one you you could spend more uh, but if it's a little over one then, then linkedin's kind of pushing to try to get uh, more views then you, you've reached a threshold and it may even be the minimum it might be uh, ten dollars per day and that's fine you just keep running your video views awareness campaign uh, on a, the minimum daily budget because you've reached the saturation point where uh, you're able to reach as many people in your target audience as possible uh, at a frequency that is not more than one. Uh, and that's fine. And that's what you do, uh, which is great because then as your list starts building, then you're able to retarget them with more uh, direct response offers. So I just want to show you what that looked like. Now, the target audience size when I did this was much, much smaller than uh, what you can see currently, 45,000, because we had only focused on a specific, some uh, three industries. Uh, so basically, I reached the point where the minimum budget was all that I wanted to spend. So I tried to put in $9 here. It says your minimum budget must be at least 10. So to run a video views campaign has to be at least 10. And then uh, the manual bidding, I hit the, the minimum cost, which is six cents. Can't go any lower than that. And uh, important to have the bidding strategy here, which is uh, manual bidding. You, you want as much control as possible. Don't give LinkedIn control. So minimum budget, minimum bid per video view. So very efficient campaign. Um, the only challenge is that it, it's difficult to scale it up without expanding the audience or loosening criteria in some way.